Welcome back, everybody, to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. We're at the end game, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I would definitely consider this the end game. I would also consider the final dungeon of a Zelda game part of the end game. So, wherever you define the end game, we're at the end game, pretty much. Yes. It's just, this is the penultimate part of this playthrough. As so you can probably this. guess by the uploads. And by the fact that oh, we have Impa. been men we have been mentioning that uh, part 67 is where this thing ends multiple times. Giraham. That's that, that that's guy. the Skrillex looking guy, isn't it? Yeah. With the sword? Yes. We only fought him like 3 times. Well, we only fought him minus boss rush, we only fought him twice. Okay. This was clearly modeled after the after 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 the uh, Temple of Time for Macarena. Because now we're in a different time. Oh jeez. Yeah, fuck you. I'm gonna wall everything off so you don't take your jump shortcut, bitch. Oh, I like that. How he just kind of flickers around. He's using teleport. I thought only the Abra family could use that. Well, so can Mew. Oh, that's true. But Mew's just kind of special. Yeah. I'm sure there's other... There, there's probably most psychics can use teleport. I don't want to have to look it up. Yes, but does that have to... Tra but does that translate into Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> yes. All psychic <laughs> monsters can, can have emergency teleport used on... Well... Not all psychic, but you know what I mean. Anyway, story is happening. Right. So, so you'll what's notice... gonna happen is he's gonna summon a bunch of monsters to attempt to keep us at bay. Oh, a Mukra. That's a lot of them. Please tell yes. me there's like a whole lot of them that you just mow on through. I wanna say there's approximately a thousand. So, uh, you know the, uh, Thousand Heartless fight in Kingdom Hearts 2? This is kind of like that. I... They, they go down like a bitch, though. Yes. Really, you get to show your the true power of the Master Sword. And here, I'm going to use my Guardian Potion and my Stamina Potion here. I didn't upgrade them, so all it's going to do is have their respective things. Guardian Potion will have the damage I take for three minutes. And, uh, my Stamina Potion will reduce the amount of stamina I use by half for three minutes. Finally, we use the potions. Oh, shit. Yes, you'll have walled off sections where you'll have to kill the specific enemies that just popped up. These get increasingly difficult. So, uh, so I guess in that respect, it's not like the Thousand Heartless fight where they're all the same consistent wimpy difficulty. No, it it gets it gets a little more intense. Just trust me on that. I love these fights where they're like, "All right, it's the last fight. Just go tear through these enemies." <laughs> Now that guy's, those guys are carrying bombs. They're like the grunts from Halo. Yes. Or they just right. Gonna suicide explode. I'm, uh, I'm, go uh, I'm gonna try and skip as much of the not required stuff as possible. Oh my God! Look at all those. Look at all those Eggman robots. Oh wait. They're the Ibwitz Twiggas. Ow. Did he just face plant on you? Yes, and that actually does damage you, unsurprisingly. Wow, fucking camera angles. I know, right? Oh, can now we got crossbow motherfuckers. Increasing the amount of uh, move types we can encounter as we go along here. Makes sense.
So yeah, stamina, uh, the stamina potion and guardian potion, really good investments for this section. Oh god, it's because it'll one. just keep things flowing. The blue ones, as per usual stuff, take more hits. Regular Zelda convention. I believe they are also faster. Looks like it. And have more powerful weaponry. Also, they run like a little bitch. Yes. Get back here. Ow. It seems if he's alone, he'll run away. Oh, never mind. That, that, I, I thought it was actually going to have some halfway neat AI, but nope. Uh, it's a certain distance. So now we actually see how long it takes to get down and indeed up this thing if we don't use shortcuts and shit. Yeah, really. But we're getting real close. And now they're going to throw fucking, uh... Stalfos. Stalfos in here. Forgot the bloody name. That's embarrassing. Way to go, jackass. How embarrassing. Oh, that's okay. such a good animation. Okay, both of my potions have worn off, so I have to be a little bit more careful here. But it's all right, because we are near the end of the book rush. Lots of crossbow guys, <laughs> holy shit. That's pretty neat. Right. And now... It's like, well, fuck, I'll just shield this off and summon more guys. So, yeah, I didn't notice he looked like Skrillex until, like, today. It was until, you know, the penultimate part of fucking playthrough. Mainly because I had no idea what Skrillex looked like until recently. Oh, God, yes. That, that so looks it, like it's here's, so much fun. It, here's where you're showing off the real power of the true Master Sword. Fuck you! Yes, the fuck you power, as I like to call it. I'm like a Fire Emblem character, bitch! Correction, an over-leveled Fire over Emblem character. over Fire Emblem character. Well, next time, throw stronger enemies at me. Dumb piece of shit. Don't just think numbers will win you over. Oh, shit. Man, remember in Zelda games when magic was just like a powder or like a button press, and now it's like, oh, shit, magic is tough. Which probably means that in the cyclical timeline that I've given the Zelda series, magic For and technology ebbs and flows. It makes a hell of a lot more sense than the official one. Oh, the quote-unquote official one. He is the Forsaken. Maybe. Because we're in the... We're, I want to say we're in the past. Yes, we are in the past. If oh, you were paying man. attention at the very beginning of this video, we went to the past. Yeah, I, I was paying attention, but... No, you weren't. Yes, I was. Oh, shit. Also, he looks a bit like... Fee's head. I think that design was taken. You can so uh, Fee is related to this guy. Pretty much, yeah, because you know Fee is pretty much a servant of the goddess. <laughs> oh God, I think I know what's happening. What? He is Ganondorf's sword. Maybe. And then, after you beat him, he becomes a Forsaken, with Fee's consciousness forcibly ripped from his body to create her. Or something to that effect, I don't even... Right! Time to do a little bit of jousting! You mean Sword duel. versus... whatever the fuck, Titanium? He's, uh... Ah, oh, shit, what... What is it called? Uh, the one guy from uh, Man with an Iron oh, shit. Fist. Oh, you just gotta knock him off? You gotta knock him off, and then st 
stab him through the chest like that. Man, this is almost as brutal as Wind Waker. And then it grows larger each time. The platform grows, does grow larger each time, so it's more difficult to actually knock either player off of the thing. If you fall off, that's game over. So don't do that. Oh, shit. Because Link can't protect himself with fucking pansy-ass magic. Nope. There is no magic meter in this game. I don't think there has been in a 3D Zelda Tiles title since uh, Wind Waker. Shit. What, oh, you want, uh, so what you want to do is you want to uh, attack where those purple things aren't, if you couldn't already guess that. If this fight was a bit more fast-paced, I would really like it. You're not playing the bloody thing. This thing is fantastic. Is it now? Yes. You have to I got... experience it. All right, all right. It's one of those boss fights that you kind of mm -hmm. have to do it yourself. Yes. Because when you're actually doing this shit, it seems faster. Ah. Or something. I don't even... Now plunge your blade deep within his body. That totally can't be taken out of context at all. What are you talking about? I did that kind of on purpose. <laughs> I think you're just spewing a bunch of bullshit, which, you know, par for the course. I was about to say, hasn't that been the standard for our commentary since fucking Other M? Yeah. Fuck you! Can't remember. Uh, yep, I think that's the last one. That was you have to three. Do for that. Oh, good thing it just kind of lowers to the ground instead of disappearing. That was lucky. I mean, Link would have probably had to take out the bullshit sale. Right. And now you have a sword fight. Oh yes. Pretty much. Shit. Now he's actually going to use somewhat different tactics. You have, you have to block and actually do a forward stab into that... Uh, into the thing you've been stabbing this whole time. His chest crystal. Yes. Which is inexplicably there. Because <laughs> he's a Zelda boss. Mm-hmm. What other reason do you need? You, so you would think you would design yourself without such a weakness, but then again, you're not a video game boss, now are you? Ching. Nice! Ow, shit. I'll just hold my Hylian shield up for all of those, because, again, it is indestructible. Which is why it's a nice thing to have at this point in the game. I don't even know why it has a shield gauge, just to show that it's in that it's completely indestructible. Yep. Shit. Ow. I am really failing spectacularly at this. I do apologize. But, uh... Hmm. You just have to sidestep dodge all that crap, so that's not a big deal. Ow! There we go. Now to phase three. Mm, sort of? Mark? It's a Zelda fight. <laughs> it's a final Zelda fight. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. It didn't go into full cutscene mode. Well, it's a final-ish. And that, that's uh, thats clearly Ganondorf's uh, a facsimile of Ganondorf's sword. There we go. Now it's cutscene. Now the boss fight's over. <laughs> ah, shit! Why did these assholes design me like this? <laughs> well, they, they wanted to give the hero some sort of chance. Hmm. 
be your angels? And we said nay. We are but men. And then Link plays a tasty guitar lick with his sword. <laughs> no, with his fucking harp. With his harp. There we go. Somehow it starts sounding like an electric guitar. Yes. That's what they need to do. Like a techno-punk Zelda with electric guitar. Okay, and now that it, just sounds retarded. <laughs> so he is the Fallen. Or the Forsaken, or whatever the fuck it's called. The Imprisoned. The Imprisoned. Oh god, are we gonna have to do this fight again? No, thank god. Oh, good. We're just gonna have some soul absorption. Just throwing that out there. Oh, he's eating here, like in the opening cutscene that I inexplicably remember. That's like the only thing you remember from the past, like, ten bloody months we've been doing this playthrough. I know, right? <laughs> that and how 20% of it is fucking padding. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, he gets power. Oh my god, he's gonna become Ganondorf. <laughs> Typical sneering villain when he thinks he has won. And then the King of Red Lions has his hand on the Triforce and wishes for Hyrule to be destroyed. No. <laughs> oh, Wind Waker had the best ending. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you totally not Ganon. What are you talking about? Dude! That's fucking awesome! That is a really neat design! I think you can explain where the hair color Ganondorf comes from. Which means Gerudos are descendants of him. Uh. Wee! He just straight up killed him. Dude! What, oh, why can right. What is the force of evil? Why couldn't we have had this earlier? Without a weapon. <laughs> oh god, that's actually creepy. Kudos, Nintendo. Ah, the sword would have been... If the sword stays glowing, it's kind of mad, but if it goes back to jet black... Oh, God, yes. Oh, I love this. Except for the pulsating skin. Other than that, I love this character design. Holy shit. And Link's like, oh, God. Oh, meets, and even his text uh, as meets, box is evil. Uh, as meets the uh, very cleverly named Demise. Demise, King of Armageddon. All right, that's enough of the Yu-Gi-Oh references. <laughs> Although he totally looks like a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> it's, it's emo obelisk the tormentor. Oh shit! All right, better go catch her. Despite the fact that that fall would kill her regardless. Nah, this is Zelda. <laughs> Dude, fuck, fucking hell, Gris is awesome. The very See, fact that he was able to run faster and farther than Link. Well, he had kind of an advantage because Link would have had to run all that fucking way. So it's kind of, it's kind of on a, one of the raised areas where he <laughs> caught eh, Zelda. I guess, but from the same distance. When he was going oh slightly my God. downhill. I'm loving this. I'm loving this boss boss design. Can you believe we'll actually fight this motherfucker next time? Oh yes. I am so looking forward to that. That laugh, that face, that fucking hair. I love all of it. The entire rest of the game, except for the padding, is redeemed for this very moment. 
Right. So basically, for reasons that we have no understanding of, of even though Demise has kind of been released, we can actually still go back to the present and uh, buy a bunch of shit to prepare ourselves for this fight. Which is hey, actually there's... exactly what I'm going to do between videos here. Just hey. throwing that out there. Hey, I know I gotta fight you, but uh, can I run some errands first? Oh, it's well, cool. he uh, well he he says like I have waited eons for my return or something like that. I can spare a few moments for your decision. It's cr it's cool, man. Go go do it. I know I know, I know how tough that is. No, this be ba uh, basically, he's going to go someplace in another dimension and wait for you or something. You come back, he's reading a magazine. Yeah. He's like, oh, alright, cool. He's like, slaps so shot, throws it away. He's, he's, for some reason, he's got fucking Vogue open. Because <laughs> yeah, he thinks he's, he's like in a hair salon or something. <laughs> Not that, uh, hair stylists would actually treat, uh, well, something that's on fire. He needs a special kind of shampoo. <laughs> that's true. Anyway, we will see you next time for the finale.